Well, there's three things which really inspire me. That's uh, pop art. I love icons. I love collage, and I like repetition. And what better to use as stamps and cutting them out and repeating the same motif over and over again, uh, and creating icons. I started with Warhol and looked who is um, which um, figure or people Warhol choose to um, portray in his in his art. So I came across Marilyn Monroe and Elvis and uh, Obama and used all these sort of poster art. Oh, I began two years ago, um, just probably by accident. I just um, went on a holiday, didn't have much art materials with me, and I just had some stamps to play with. So I made little trading cards with the, the image of the Queen. When I did the Queen, I just did a pencil drawing, just to get the idea where, where the face is, where the hair is, where the crown is. And in the meantime, I'm actually painting, under, put the painting of the portrait underneath, but just not as a real portrait, just used like probably two to three colors, just to give me shapes. And these are then basically my base to start on gluing. There is a fantastic shop in Bundaberg, Collectibles. So you can get bags of stamps, or well, you could get them two years ago, and until now they're running a bit low because I've really bought them all. They're sort of bags with thousands of, $20 bags of thousands of stamps, which are still on the original envelope or ripped off the envelope, so you have the paper backing. So once I get those, I start sorting them into um, stamps I want to use immediately, which are on an image I'm working on, or the ones which can be done later. These stamps go then in a bucket with water, so I can get the paper backing off. So once they're soaked for a few hours, I can take them off, painstakingly peeling them off the envelope backing, putting it on newspaper and let them dry overnight. So the next day I can start cutting. And then once I've cut and have a few, I start gluing on my iPods. Well, by choosing stems, obviously these stems are all used postage stems, so they are not new. Then um, the icons or the pictures I'm using, they're not new because they have been printed as posters. They are available on the internet, so I didn't invent a portrait of Marilyn Monroe. It was there, so I used it, so that's not new. And, um, you know, even uh, works have been created with stems before, so that's not new. But then as, an, as a viewer, if you look at them, I thought I created something new with nothing new.